Compi is one of the old-time smallest dinosaurs, about the size of a coyote, 10 pounds. Fossil footprints show that Compies traveled in big packs up to a dozen or more. Compies were as fast as coyotes, maybe 30 miles an hour. They had very sinuous bodies. They loved to move in underbrush. Compies had sharp claws, long toes. They could climb trees real well. Pack hunters usually nest in groups, so did compies, and they would defend their nests in groups too. Galleys are the fastest dinos on the island, up to 50 miles an hour, and one of the smartest. Galleys had front claws like grizzly bears, long and straight, great digging tools. Galleys could dig prey out of their burrows, and they could use their claws to dig very deep nests. Galleys had a stiff torso, stiff tail, like a T-Rex. They couldn't maneuver in dense forest. Galleys could attack you with the long reach of their forepaws, and they could kick you with their hind feet, too. There are some modern bird species that try to sneak their eggs into another mother's nest. If the mother detects these sneaky eggs, she can roll them out of her nest, and that could have happened with the dinos. The animal with the best poison delivery system is the spitting cobra. Could some dinosaurs spit? Could be. Fossil footprints show that dilophs hunted in pairs, top speed about 35 miles an hour. Dilophs had big crests on their head, and maybe they had crests along the neck too, like a lot of birds and lizards do. Neck crests can be a warning. Birds and lizards flare their crests when they're about to attack. Dilophs had bodies built like compies, long, flexible, great for swimming. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Emily Shimura. I'll be your contact on this mission, so keep an eye on your message light. It means I have new information for you. We were worried when our telemetry showed that your helicopter crashed. But as long as you're not hurt, keep going. We're pulling you out as soon as you've got at least one egg from each dinosaur species in the incubator. I'll check on you again in a couple of hours. Oh, and uh, by the way, good luck. Triceratops was the most dangerous plant-eating animal that ever evolved. Triceratops had very strong legs. It could accelerate in a charge right away and hit a top speed of 30 miles an hour. The Triceratops head was huge and heavy, but perfectly balanced. It could whip its long horns in any direction. Triceratops had a strong bony frill that protected the neck. All around the frill were sharp edges. When it swung the frill, it was a deadly weapon. Dinosaurs and birds have a lot in common. Since a lot of birds mate for life today, maybe the dinosaurs did too. Like birds today, some dinosaur parents might have been fiercely protective of their young. There are so many eggs in one nest, it looks like two or three or four females got together and laid in the same place.
Bad news. We picked up a blip moving toward the park. We don't know who it is, but it looks suspicious. San Jose Airport security caught someone trying to sneak out through the perimeter fence. Someone paid him $500 to tape a little box to the helicopter you flew to the park. It must have been an explosive. That's why you crashed. And now an unidentified aircraft is moving toward the island. This is serious. Don't waste any time. We have to get those eggs off the island as soon as possible. I'll call back as soon as we know more. Me again. Make sure you move the eggs quickly to the incubator. The longer an egg is away from its nest, the colder it gets.
If it gets too cold, the baby dinosaur can die. The incubator keeps the baby alive until you're ready to leave. Got it?
Tyrannosaurus rex had the strongest bite of any meat eater. Its forehead was four feet wide. T. rex had a double jointed jaw, it could open its mouth so wide it could swallow an entire Guernsey cow. T. rex had armor piercing teeth, it could crack a triceratops neck in one bite. T. rex could charge at 37 miles an hour, faster than the fastest rhinoceros. The eyes in T-Rex faced directly forward. It had great depth perception. Ears were good too, but it couldn't hear the high frequencies. T-Rex had a pecking spot right on the cheekbone where they'd try to bite or scratch in ritual combat. If you had a T-Rex you wanted to control, if you hit it real hard on the pecking spot, you might subdue it. By the way, Dr. Grant told me that the CD for the Brocky kiosk is somewhere in Wu's office under lock and key. At the end of the CD, there's a baby call, and every time they played it, the Brocks came galloping up. When Dr. Sattler was on the island, she helped Dr. Harding, the veterinarian, with a sick triceratops. He worked out a treatment for the illness and carried injectors in his Jeep. Dr. Harding also told her not to honk the Jeep horn at the triceratops set. City drives them nuts! <laughs>
Brachiosaurs are really loud. They have an echo chamber built in their snout where their nostrils are, and when they blow noise through there, the sound is tremendous. Brachiosaurus was the biggest dinosaur, up to 40 tons in weight. That's as heavy as 10 elephants or five school buses, and Brax would go 100 feet long nose to tail. This is the slowest dinosaur in the park, 20 miles per hour tops, as fast as the average human. Now, Brax can rear up on their strong hind legs to reach high in the trees. Brax feet are really compact, so they can get bogged down in mud, it slows them down. Brax have weak teeth, blunt claws, and a small tail, but they can crush you flat under their huge feet. Brax chewed leaves with their stomach stones, and you could hear a constant rumble of digestion noises. Baby crocs and gators have a special alarm call that makes the parents come running. Maybe Brachiosaurus had a similar system. More bad news. We've got positive ID on that aircraft. It's a helicopter registered to Biosyn Corporation. Those are the guys who hired Nedry to steal the dinosaur DNA from the island. Yeah, it looks like they're trying again. We're getting some interference. Hello, nice of you to join me. I represent... Well, I guess it doesn't matter who I represent now, does it? Our people will arrive on the island in three hours. And we're after the same thing you are, so just stay in the visitor center. It should only take us about 30 minutes to complete our work. We don't want to hurt you, but if you get between us and those dinosaur eggs, well, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Just leave the eggs alone and stay out of our way.
Opening sequence initiated. Door will open in 30 seconds. We're losing it. We found another helicopter to pick you up, but Biosyn got to that one too. There's nothing else that can reach you before they get there. You're stranded. Okay. We know that Biosyn's chopper will be landing in the next few hours. 
Collect as many of the eggs as you can before they show up. I'll try to arrange some sort of a backup transport. Hang in there. The Velociraptor family has many species, all deadly. The one on the island is a giant called Utah Raptor. Utah Raptor was fast, up to 40 miles per hour, and a tremendous jumper. Utah Raptor was a kickboxing dinosaur with razor sharp claws on the front paw and back paw. Raptors had huge brains and they would work together in packs in hunting and for protecting their young. Utah Raptor had large eyes, effective vision. Both eyes and ears faced forward so it could see and hear in stereo. Many smart predators today use burrows or caves to raise their young. Leopards do that, so do hyenas. Raptors were by far the smartest dinosaur predators. And if there were caves around, they'd take advantage of them for raising their young. Raptors were so smart that if they were alive in a zoo today, they would learn to recognize tools and weapons.
Biosyn's almost there. They've got some kind of a jammer on board, so this is the last message I'll be able to send you for a while. We found your transportation, sort of. Biosyn's a lot more interested in grabbing DNA than they are in hunting you. As soon as they touch down, they'll be moving fast, looking for eggs. If you're quick, you might be able to slip past them and take their helicopter. I'd love to see their faces when they see their ride lifting off without you.
I knew you could do it. If anyone could get those eggs away from Biosyn, you were the one. Congratulations. I'll see you when you get back. And thanks.